best things in life are free. The second best things in life are simple. Simpler Trading's free room is both free and simple. Check out Simpler Stream Week from June 21st to the 23rd for live market analysis right here on YouTube. Good afternoon, everyone. Hey guys, this is Bruce Marshall with Simpler Trading doing the nightly market update for Wednesday, June the 15th. So happy Wednesday, happy Fed Day. If you did not see by now, today was um, the Fed meeting with the, with the commentary from Powell. And uh, as you can see here from the chart, we got a lot of crazy, crazy, crazy moves uh, around that meeting and after and the press conference and all that kind of stuff. So um, let's dive in here and take a look at it. Now I have the S&P up here. Uh, well, this is the NASDAQ and this is the S&P and this is just a tick chart. Um, so let me take that down and we'll zoom in on today and look at today and then see if we can figure out kind of what's going on here and what to make of it. So if you notice, in fact, let me go back to yesterday um, and actually let me do this. Let me go back here. Okay, so yesterday, we were trading this yesterday in the main room with, I had a 3,700 butterfly here for the close. We got down to 3,708 and then we had this big rip higher. And then we went 37.08, um, which just in, ended up being a good trade. But 37.08 all the way up here uh, is 3,800. So it was about a 100-point move off this low yesterday all the way up. Um, the light gray is the overnight session. So we moved up basically about 100 points ahead of the Fed meeting because uh, either a lot of people were really um, – anticipating what they were going to do or you know some information got leaked out or whatever and you know who knows we'll never know but um it is kind of funny when you get large moves ahead of things like that but that being said um it was pretty easy to to anticipate that they were going to do um a larger rate hike we all if you watched last week's video i did i said the same thing i said they're probably going to do a 75 basis point move and this was supposed to be a, you know, quote unquote, surprise move to the market. Everybody kind of knew it. And, you know, was it was it baked in after that? You know, I don't know. Um, but here is the, you know, here's what happened. So the the announcement was right there. Initially, we got a big pop up. I went I was long. I, I got long here. Um, and we even went up and immediately slammed down and I thought, well, that didn't work. And we came back up and I said, okay, this is going to work. And it slammed down again. And I was like, well, that's toast. And then check this move out from 37.27 all the way up to 38. There is 100 points, you know, straight up in 10 minutes, something like that. Crazy, crazy, crazy move. So a lot of people uh, are popping champagne corks and a lot of people are you know as Kramer says crying on the linoleum floor you know drinking cheap scotch or whatever he says but anyway um, a deal maker or a heartbreaker right there that giant giant instant move up so we came up here we tagged our fire our excuse me our snow line right there that white line snow line failed came back down took it out a little bit came back down so crazy 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 moves so if you didn't see, the news was that the Fed raised rates 75 basis points or three quarters of a point. And that was the largest rate increase in uh, 30 years. And the Fed is now decided they're going to, you know, grab the bull by the horns. and They're going to get in front of this inflation, you know, that they have not been in front of for the last two years um, as prices keep going up and up and up. But... Um, you know that is what it is so now you know they're assuring us that they've got this under control and they're going to raise they're going to keep raising rates and all that kind of stuff but all the rate rising is not going to cause a recession and i'm here to tell you that we are already in a recession they haven't announced it yet but um but we'll see you know we'll we're, we'll look back it's always a you know rearview mirror looking you know on the, on the past quarters of data but i think we're already you know the data will show that we're already in a, in a recession now um it doesn't matter it's still you know it's just a, it's just a word we all know that prices are high and it's all you know everything's expensive and all that kind of stuff 
Um, but what that three quarters of a point raise does, it throws some a big bucket of cold water on the housing market, and which that will start the dominoes falling for construction workers, uh, mortgage people, you know, uh, you know, all down the line. Anybody associated with the housing market um, is probably seeing the writing on the wall that things are, you know, we we might be uh, in a um, on the downside of that that massive massive uh, increase that we've had over the last you know quite a few years in housing prices and we've all enjoyed it you know it's been great um if you've been able to sell anything at top dollar it's been you know it's been pretty nice um and i don't know that it'll get terribly bad and all that kind of stuff there is absolutely the potential that we go back to another 2008 kind of thing i I don't and don't quote me on saying that we're going i'm saying it's there's a potential if dominoes continue to fall in that direction and they have to keep raising rates and inflation keeps going higher uh the job market you know gets worse there's a lot of things that have to happen um i hope it does not but you know we shall see and and we monitor this stuff as we go you know week in week out and month in month out as we see data come in like ppi and cpi um uh, you know all of the all of the things that we watch right payrolls etc so keep an eye on all that data coming in. Let me tell you what I, what I think will happen in the short term here. Um, so here's a one-year chart of the S&P. Just, and I always stick with the S&P or the ES um, because that gives us the most broad representation of the market. There is the start of this year, and it's just been just bad all, all year long. You know, um, It's been great for me and, in, and for my bias um, room at simpler because we've been making money we're up pretty nicely on the year actually um i like this volatility and it's been working pretty well it's been you know a little tougher to trade but it's been good um so don't expect this to change anytime soon i i suspect we might get a little bounce up here maybe we get back to our fire line here maybe um wherever we go whether it's you know here or here or here I will be ready to fade it back down because I think we're going lower, unfortunately. Over and I'm talking about the next couple of months, you know, maybe up to six months or something like that. Um, this market is going to continue to look bad until things kind of start to turn around. And the and the problem or the the reality is that that turnaround doesn't happen in weeks or even months. It may be a year or two. It, typically, it's about 15 to 18 months. You know, kind of from where we are right now. So if your trading style is not working, find a style that does. You know, join us in the bias room at Simpler. Join me in the main room at Simpler um, and kind of see what's working. Uh, Because like I said, I don't think this is going to change. Or learn how to trade volatility, which is basically what we're we're doing right now. Um, Other than that, you know, we are, we continue. I've been saying this for months and months and months. Trade small size. Be very careful. Be very selective on the trades you take make sure they're really good setups and you got triggers for entries and exits um you know and just trade small and tight stops and and i'm taking smaller profits when i can if i normally would take 20 percent now maybe i'm taking 10 just to grab the easy money and get out uh, but that's the way we have to trade in this market and and again if you've listened to any of the videos i've done the last six months i've been saying the same thing and and i will be saying the same thing for the next six months at least probably so um you know that's what I've got right now. Again, I do expect we probably get, you know, a bounce off of this, and I don't think it'll be this much. You know, maybe it's like this, um, and I'll be looking to, you know, to short it back down. If it does surprise me and we keep breaking these levels and things, you know, keep getting better, yes, once once we are confirmed in an uptrend, then we'll start trading a little differently. Uh, but right now, it's just, you know, um, sell the rips back down because i think we're going lower so anyway uh be careful out there you know trade small size and uh unfortunately look for lower prices probably in the next couple of months and uh, adjust your portfolio especially your long-term stuff accordingly either hedge it or take profits when you have them that kind of thing so that's what i've got hope it helps and uh, come join me in the bias room and come join us at simpler in the main room and um we'll trade Uh, side by side do this together real time so thanks for time i appreciate it and i'll talk to you soon take care without simpler trading i could not have financial independence 
this is one of the best investments that I ever made in my life. It's helping me find consistency. One of the things that won me 